everyone, I'm Maria and welcome to today's sweet build which is a tiny little seafood restaurant in Brindleton Bay. Uh, so I found this image right here on Pinterest and it was just, just so adorable I had to try and uh, recreate it in The Sims which is what I have here for you. So the roofing on this I think was probably what drew me to this build in the first place because it's just so... I don't know, interesting. <laughs> it's it's quite a, a small little model and I wasn't sure whether I'd be able to get everything in because it's so tiny and um, I have built like a small bedroom into the roof area but I haven't actually put like a ladder or anything up to access it. <laughs> so if you do download it then you may have to add if you you know want your sim to go to sleep on this lot um, but otherwise the restaurant um, functions completely no problems which I'm very pleased about so um, there's a small like children's play area sort of thing that I've included in this it's not very big and I've kind of put it in a a corner with like some high chairs and I kind of imagined that the whole area would be like a, a family seating area and then the main section was just you know maybe large groups or something so I really enjoy this color scheme this like navy kind of blue and, and white I think it goes really well with um, the whole cats and dogs pack but Brindleton Bay in general the whole seaside sort of thing I think it's really nice and all of the decorative items that we have I think go really well with this colour scheme too so I've included quite a lot of uh, debug items so there's some boys that I found and um, some other like hanging nets and things that I thought were really cute so I've added quite a lot of those um, the only thing that I don't particularly like about this lot not the build, the lot itself is um, the floor <laughs> like the terrain sort of thing is mud which doesn't make any sense if it's on a dock and there isn't a floor tile that matches the surrounding wood so this was kind of the closest one that I could find that matched and it's still obviously not the right colour but it'll do <laughs> I have added a couple of trees around I think I've only added three and I've included like a small um, like planter box and I've just added a bunch of plants in, not the growable ones. Um, but I've put the trees in the debug, like I don't really know what they're called. I call them tree cages, but I'm not really sure. <laughs> but I've put those in um, because it didn't really make any sense to have plants growing out of wood. So. Um, yeah, hopefully they kind of look like they fit to you. <laughs> I did have a bit of issue finding the right windows because as I'm sure you know, once you've kind of changed the roofing slightly, then if you have the windows in the correct space on the wall, then you can't really see them because the roof like hangs over them. So it's a little bit strange. <laughs> I tried this out with the door into this room I end up changing it because as you are about to see the right hand one had this weird dark shadow on and even mo moving it even moving it with the tool mod it still had that weird like shadow on it and I, I don't really know why but uh, we leave it for now and then end up kind of getting rid of it because it just I don't know I wanted it to be really open and it's just even you know the arches are too small for me <laughs> I really like the journey to Batu arch the like really long one but we don't really have one for like was it four tiles that one's more like six and it's just way too big so the one thing that I have enjoyed the most about doing these kind of smaller builds is that you can add a lot more detail to them and you know they don't the details don't get lost Whereas on some of my bigger builds, if I try and add lots of detail, well, one, it will take me like years. <laughs> um, but things tend to get a little bit lost because it's so big. 
whereas these little ones you can add all of these little bits and pieces and it just I don't know adds to it and just makes it look a lot more interesting so I spent maybe three hours building this which is probably the quickest I've ever built anything <laughs> um, but I did really enjoy it I've never built anything like this I don't think I might have built cafes and things but I don't think I've maybe built one restaurant but I don't know I thought it was an interesting style that I've not really done before so yeah I really enjoyed it so for most of this week there's been this bird that likes to come and sit on the balcony right outside um, my office and um, I think it's a magpie <laughs> which for anybody who lives in Australia or knows anything about Australian magpies one they're completely different to UK magpies I would like to point out they aren't um, they aren't particularly known to be friendly <laughs> and um, I'm sure you may have seen if you have ever visited or maybe even seen on I don't know the TV or YouTube people riding around with um, like zip ties tied to their helmets when they're riding bikes and yeah <laughs> and that's basically because the magpies aren't particularly friendly um, but they are very very cute and this particular one keeps on coming and sitting on the balcony now I live on the seventh floor so you know we don't tend to see too many birds and things up here but this particular one likes to come and sit and just sing <laughs> and they're they're quite loud um, but he's very adorable he she very adorable and uh, yeah it's just kind of a nice thing to see every now and again <laughs> so I back to this thought I should talk about this build, not bird <laughs> um, in the image there was like a little boat on the top of this thing now the game gives you two options for this little roof detail one of them has like a different swatches a dog and a cat and um, something else um, but the one in the image had like a boat on it and so I remembered that there was this um, like wall decoration when I was doing Miss Unfortunate's build that I could use in this so I thought it was perfect for up there took a little bit of maneuvering because obviously it wants to just snap to a wall but I think it, it worked out okay <laughs> So as we go on to the inside, um, there isn't really much to this. <laughs> yeah, I think it's very simple. I didn't really have like a floor plan in mind. I just literally copied the what I thought was the floor plan from the image, and thankfully it was you know relatively simple to work out. <laughs> The bathroom is pretty tiny, it's only like a single um, like toilet and everything in there. Um, and when I was testing it, none of the sims seemed to have any problems with only having like one bathroom. And um, they all seem to, you know, be fine. Unfortunately, whilst I was playtesting, two sims died. Um, I didn't do anything to them. <laughs> they just... Um, I think both of them were like old age which was very unfortunate <laughs> every time I was trying to um, film the tour everybody was just crying and it was just such a sad time I was like oh gosh <laughs> I'll just have to like do it in um, build mode or something and then was like oh I can't do that because you know then you don't get the same effect and people can't see that you know it is functional that sort of thing and I like having sims in the tours because they tend to do interesting things and it just looks a little bit more natural but as you will see in some scenes at the end um, some of them look very sad <laughs> I was just yeah it was just not a good time um, but I really liked adding these um, like little fairy lights I do add them on the back too a little bit later and um, I know I can just use the like decorations box from seasons but I don't know I wanted them to be there all the time 
and I just liked the look of them. <laughs> um, I add a couple more benches out here, not benches, sorry, um, like chairs, tables and chairs. <laughs> and um, they're all functional too, which I'm very glad about. The only two that I didn't test were the ones outside the main door, um, which I can only imagine they're not functional just because of the way that they're angled, but you never know. <laughs> so into the bathroom now, it's a very generic bathroom, there's nothing particularly special about it. I thought I would include it because I never include bathrooms and, you know, some people might might like to see a bathroom furnished for whatever reason <laughs> and um, you know it's it's not a particularly long video anyway so I thought it would be interesting just to just to leave it in for what, 30 seconds <laughs> so I also really like doing kitchens in this style with um, these counters which I think are base game counters but the dine out um, kitchen furniture matches them really well which I think is great because we don't normally get things like that, you know? And this particular kind of, I don't know whether you can call it industrial because it's a commercial maybe? It's like a commercial kitchen furniture. And I, I don't know, I just really like it. It's just clean and simple. And um, thankfully with this, um, not kitchen station, chef station, you don't really need any extra like surface space because they do all the, the food prep on the station. But I've always liked the idea of having like a fully functional kitchen. <laughs> Obviously like in The Sims using it for restaurants and things, you literally only need that and maybe a sink. But I still like it for you know visual purposes just to have a full kitchen and it does cause a little bit of confusion sometimes because when I was playtesting it um, some of the sims were coming into the kitchen to wash their hands which was very strange like they would still be able to go into the bathroom but yeah I don't really know why <laughs> um, but we just add lots and lots of decorations in here like I said, small space, you can add lots and it doesn't, you know, get lost. <laughs> um, but there's quite a lot of different packs that I like to use together. Um, I don't really use laundry day items that often, but the like hanging herbs and the broom, I really like to use because they, they look good in pretty much any build. The, the herbs not so much because they have a very particular style but like pretty much any build that you do whether it's a um, a house or a community lot there's always going to be a broom somewhere so I think that sort of item is really good so this is the room that I thought would be suitable for like a family room I wasn't really sure what furniture to use and I end up going with these tables from the paranormal pack I really think they look good as like a cafe sort of table because of the little cloth that they have on them. I wish they came in more swatches because I I know they're obviously styled for that particular pack but I think it would be nice just to have some that were plain and not patterned um, but I still think they look really nice. I also really like to use this um, wall paint which I think is from Parenthood and um, obviously it's meant to be for a kids room but I thought it looked really cool for a seafood restaurant <laughs> it just I don't know ties the whole style in and just makes it look a little bit not what's the word relaxed maybe friendly <laughs> I don't know just not quite so serious you know so I wanted to dress this little kind of station thing up so I end up just adding these in and it's functional and I think it just makes it look a little bit more interesting. I add a couple of decorations I think maybe like a candle and um, I've actually put the I think it's like a tea stand on there now obviously I know that that's 
you're not likely to have tea <laughs> tea bags and things on there but I thought maybe you could just pretend that they're like sweets or something <laughs> I also thought it would be a really nice place for maybe like souvenirs or um, like boat rental that sort of thing I thought could be really cool the fact that it's right on the water and you could pretty much make up whatever storyline you like so this is the little kids area I get rid of this corner table and um, put some toys and things there so this is pretty much the whole build I then just add a couple more of like I said the plants outside so I really hope you have enjoyed today's video please let me know what you think I give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe if you haven't already and you enjoy my content I'd really love to see you here again so that being said I hope you all have a wonderful day and hopefully I will see you next time bye everyone Thank you.